gratitude. I'm trying to wake up every day at 6 a.m. actually, and it feels freaking amazing. It's very hard the first hour or the first, not hour, 15 minutes, but after you get so much stuff done and it feels so, so good. So I'm finishing up my coffee and then I'm gonna go to the the gym downstairs do like a quick 30 minute full body workout I have a really busy day i'm going to make some planis today because i have at 11 i have a brunch with the girls and after we're gonna go to whitney's place we're gonna make some tiktoks eat blondies and just have like a girls afternoon at the end of the day helen and casey and me are gonna go to malibu because we're filming our bikini haul today which will be really really nice it is such a gorgeous spot we went there once before when we saw we shot easy but it's so gorgeous i'm so excited i'm gonna grab all my equipment and we're gonna go outside i'm wearing this super cute set from nukes nukes active but it's super well fitted i like when it's like really really tight here I did a 30 minute workout from Sammy. It was one of her live streams, but I did it on like Instagram. And I, I kid you not guys, I was so tired this morning, but I just feel like by moving my body, I just feel so much more energized. By the way, I am obsessed with my new silk rope. I've been looking for something like this for so long and it's so soft. And I think the color is so beautiful too. Because you guys know me, I normally don't wear or <laughs> love a lot of color, but this is like so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little skincare routine. I forgot I have a I have a I have a business call in like 30 minutes. I need to get ready. I might take the call while I do my makeup. <laughs> and believe it or not, you guys have seen my giant skincare closet and there's literally no vitamin C serum. I feel I just like get quite some pigmentation. So vitamin C serum would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> you're naked. Huh? You're naked too, baby. Uh, you can see me? Yeah, you're like very blurred out. So I'm all hair and makeup ready for today. I am going to make some blondies because we're also going to just like hang out with all the girls. And it's actually quite funny because I'm the only blonde one of the whole, of my whole friend group here in LA. Blondes have more fun. And we're actually, it's funny. My only sentence I can say in Spanish is, okay, bear with me. Soy rubia, pero no tonta. Anyway, so I am gonna make blondies. I am going to Elefante for like a really nice brunch. Then I'm gonna go make TikToks, hang with the girls. And then I'm gonna go to Malibu for a bikini shoot or a bikini haul, which I'm very excited. Look, I have a whole suitcase ready with all the props and like sunglasses and all these things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh my god, it's so busy today. I already had like phone calls and stuff. I did a workout. I'm like, ooh. Okay, so this is going to be the look. Now I'm just wearing this like cute little top because if I'm gonna bake in this, I'm gonna spill dough everywhere and this is gonna be a disaster. So let's spill on here and then change for brunch. So I made my second coffee of this morning. I normally don't drink that much coffee in the morning, but Definitely needed it today and we're gonna have a full day because at the end of the day we're doing like the bikini shoot obviously. Anyway, I'm going to make blondies for people who don't know what blondies is. It's kind of a brownie but with a little less chocolate and cacao powder. It's more like a banana bread cake vibe with pieces of chocolate. 
This is actually a recipe from one of my friends, Nicole, who you might know as No Bread on Instagram. And it is very easy to make, very delicious. You only need some basic ingredients, so it's quick to make. And I'm telling you, <laughs> this may be last one day in our apartment because everyone keeps sneaking to the fridge and grabs a piece of blondie. So the base is made out of almond flour. I'm going to add one and a half cup and half a cup more. So what we're gonna do, we're all gonna blend or put the dry ingredients together here and then we're gonna put all the wet ingredients together in this bowl and we're gonna mix this later. This just makes it easier and it's better for the consistency to actually mix. So I'm gonna add a pinch of sea salt. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm going to add a third cup of raw coconut sugar. And a tiny, tiny bit more. I personally don't like my desserts or kind of these brownies or blondies too sweet. I think in the original recipe, they actually used three quarter cup, which makes it very sweet. So this is really up to you. You can experiment a little bit. I used one third and two tablespoons, or I use like half a cup. I'm gonna grab a big bowl and we're gonna add all the liquid into here. I have a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. And again, melt this before because it just makes it easier to blend and you just get a creamier and nicer consistency. I have two tablespoons of almond milk. There we go. We're going to add two eggs. So the recipe is not completely vegan. I've actually never tried it to make it with a flex egg. It might be possible as well. I will actually check this. And now we're just gently going to mix this. The recipe is dairy free though, and also gluten free. We just want to have like a smooth, smooth mixture here. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna give the dry ingredients, a little bit of a little bit of a mix. You can also put the food processor on, but <laughs> I don't know why I do it this way. There we go, and I'm gonna do slowly add the wet ingredients to this, and then we're gonna mix everything. Yummy. Alrighty, this is very well blend. As you can see, it has a super smooth texture. Kind of my hair, hair color. <laughs> it's a dark blonde today. <laughs> Let's take this one out. So here is where the chocolate comes in. I got these dairy-free chocolates. You can also get like vegan chocolate or whatever you like. This is actually dark. I'm obsessed with dark chocolate. I have to say, like desserts and pie and everything doesn't do anything for me, but when it comes to chocolate, you guys know every night for dessert, I am addicted. <laughs> so we're going to put a generous amount of there in there. I'm going to mix everything. Mm. Then I have a square baking worm. You can also use like a banana worm. And I cut out baking sheet paper in here. I think you can also just use coconut oil, but I like a paper. I think it just looks very cute. It looks like very homemade whenever it comes out of the oven. And it's just very easy to, very easy to clean. So I'm just going to add the dough. I promise you, forever you're gonna make this, even the girls are gonna love this. I'm just going to spread it out. If you're using baking sheet paper, you really wanna press it into press it into the corners. So they don't look very like thick right now, but obviously in the oven it will rise a little bit. So we're really going into those corners, spreading everything out. There we go. I actually use quite a really generous amount of chocolate today, but I always like as a little decoration and obviously I like melted chocolate on top. So I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle some. It's gonna be delicious. 
there we go. And the blondie is ready to go in the oven. It only takes 25 minutes and I preheated the oven on 350 Fahrenheit. So yeah, I am um, gonna put this in there and I'm gonna change and get ready quickly. This is the top from Maritzia and then with these matching pants. Super cool. Hey baby. Yeah. Be careful. Um, ah. <laughs> I burned myself already a couple times right now. Oh, la, la. oh it was so hot. You okay? Uh, yeah. These are my brownies. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna cool them off like super quickly. And then I'm gonna pack them and I'm gonna... You right? You're so cute. It. Sana has started baking. Yeah, for freaking yeah. love. I, you know that that's how I started cooking and actually baking. I would bake every single day cakes and pies. Well, um, why are you not baking me cake and pie every day? Because as a kid, it doesn't make you fat, and now it does. However, though, I make very healthy. I'm gonna grab my stuff. I love you. Let's go. I love you too. So we're six I'm feet really apart really here. So <laughs> the rest we're of about the one inch oh, apart. Yeah, we're one fine. inch. <laughs> but we already like broke the pattern yeah. like this yeah. week. Yeah, we got tested. We're basically a quarantine. So we just quarantine. I like that. <laughs> Hi guys. Once you're with your quarantine, then you got yeah. Yeah. What did we I order? That's well established. We got avocado toast. Ricotta hot cakes, green eggs. Green eggs. Do you know green eggs and ham? No. <laughs> I figured you did. What? It's like... international. Is it? Surely. What are we talking about? Okay. Everyone knows Dr. Seuss. You know Cat in the Hat? Cat in the Hat? No. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Cat in the Hat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I no, show this to me. Is it the cartoon? It's uh, like a children's book, Dr. Seuss. He's like probably the most famous children's, I guess, American children's book. Yeah. Author. Okay, it's maybe the. I think it's, it has probably a completely different name. Oh, probably, probably, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. now I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Green. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Does this look familiar at all? <laughs> no. I think it's kind of weird. I guess it's weird. Weird. Green eggs and the ham. Like, never heard. We got eggs, pita bread, and kind of bread. Yeah. Hummus, eggplants, chicken case. And send me as fruit on the fruitarian <laughs> diet. No. No. Oh my god, he's so <laughs> excited. Hey, come <laughs> Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. Like, I want to come home like this. <laughs> Aww. So, we made the blondies. Actually, ballet is. I was making a joke earlier that I was the only blonde in the group, but it's actually ballet too. We're, we're getting more blondes in the group. We're getting the blondes <laughs> in the group. Mm. Here we're creating. This is actually super handy for the car and stuff. Brownies! <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Busy, so we're just gonna check out the space. So we just climbed over the rocks. We still need to go back to get my suitcase. And Casey's location scouting. And what do we think? I think we probably set up the rack. The rack? Oh. So we just got here to the beach. Look at this spot. It's so pretty. So we climbed over these rocks, whoa, right there. And obviously we couldn't carry all our stuff, so 
Casey and Helen went back. Helen had to pee, and I'm watching our bags. We probably need to walk up and down like three times. It's such a nice location, and it's so nice that the sun is out here. I love the beach. The master Casey setting up here with his big ass camera <laughs> and our target rack which is about to fall apart but it works. Which one is your favorite? I really like the earthy tones. Yeah, those look good on you. I feel you wear you wear the I earthy tones a lot on your Instagram. Yeah. Helen is bikini Instagram queen. <laughs> oh my god guys. Helen and I just shot her intro and outro and stuff and it's so cold. <laughs> like, look at my hands. They're purple. I'm shaking. And we still need to shoot all the bikinis. We better start like running or something. It's just getting colder. <laughs> it's gonna get so much colder. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, guys. We are freezing. But look how pretty this is here. Wow. That is. I am freezing cold. I don't know if you can see my fingers. Casey, I wear your pants. So <laughs> oh, completely wet. Are you frozen? Yeah, it's cold. Oh. It's casualty of war. I think we got some good. I think we got some There's good chance. Chance. No, it was worth it. Thank you. Definitely worth doing. Oh yeah, damn it. We need to like put this targeting also back in the box. Guys, I'm in bed. It's 10 or 10:15, so early, kind of. Oh my god, I came home, and I think I had the best warm shower of my life. No, of 2020 for sure. And it was crazy. I was so so cold in Helen as well. We literally had like 20 seconds for each shot, but I think we did get it done. And I think despite the cold, it looked. <laughs> Warm in California. It was a lot of fun. That was a lot, a lot of fun. And now I'm just in bed. I had food. But I had pokeballs, warm pokeballs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's foodie vlog. Kind of a day in my life. If you guys want to see more like this, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Have a good night.